I know I haven't been uploading for a while but this will be the start of a new series I call The Best. In this series, I'll be featuring the best quintessential Singaporean dishes uh, there are. And this will not be the vanilla kind of food series where you know the people, the host start reacting 5, 0 0.5 seconds after putting the food in their mouth. All these dishes that I'm going to be featuring, I've known them, I've eaten them all my life and I know how to cook a pretty good version of it. So all these places that I'm featuring, I'm not here to tell you that it's good. I'm here to tell you why and how is it good. If you also notice, there's also an episode 0 on this where how I explain how I derived the list of these places. So all that said, today we are here at Maxwell Food Centre. We're going to start with the most iconic Singaporean dish, chicken rice. Alright, so Tian Tian Si Fan. I don't think this place needs any introduction. This is the most popular chicken rice in Singapore. Celebrities have eaten here, you know, the whole... This place has defeated Gordon Ramsay before. It has a Michelin star. Anthony Bourdain raved about this. I mean, everybody and their mothers have eaten here. Except me, actually. <laughs> so I wanted to start with this place as a control since I believe most people, you know, locals and uh, tourists have tried this place before and before we start off this new series and playlist, right, I wanted you to sort of uh, a preview of how my palette is like. So I ordered and this will be the same thing I'm going to order for the rest of the series. I'm going to order a uh, regular chicken rice with breast meat or ji xiong rou and then I will add an uh, additional order of a chicken drumstick. Because normally when people talk about chicken rice, right, they never ever mention you know, whether they are having white meat or dark meat. If you know anything about poultry and chicken, you know that both meats are very very different. So when you talk about tender meat, right, if chicken drumstick is tender, it's not very impressive. Uh. I mean, duh. But if chicken breast is tender, then it's another thing altogether. Their flavor profiles also are quite distinct within the same chicken that is. Just for those who have never eaten chicken rice before, I'm going to explain what chicken rice is. Hainanese chicken rice is a dish where the main three components are rice, chicken and chili. The chicken, they stuff it with aromatics and then they boil it. Boil it. Although they say steam is more like a boil. If they cook the chicken in chicken stock at a low temperature, somewhat low temperature so that it remains tender and that you get all the goodness of the chicken in chicken stock. The rice is cooked with the same chicken stock along with aromatics and also chicken fat. So what they essentially do is they squeeze all these flavors into the rice grain. The result is this really really delicious rice that you can eat on its own. It's almost like chicken risotto if you think about it. And then the chili is also a mix of uh, aromatics with chili obviously. Sometimes they add white vinegar or calamansi and a bit of chicken fat, also optional. So now that that's out of the way, I can finally eat. I might not be repeating all this every time I have an episode so I have to say I didn't expect the chicken breast to come out so nice uh. considering what we get normally get right this is actually quite neat and for food photographers right Hainanese chicken right is actually one of the hardest things to photograph because of how hard it is right to get the skin to look nice and for a hawker dish I think this looks pretty good okay time to try just the rice first so excited <laughs> I'm quite excited actually Try the breast meat and then try the drumstick or the duck meat. That's a really good example of gelatin here. So one very uh, popular technique with chicken rice right, is that they will dip the whole chicken into ice water uh, after cooking it so that the fats were gelatinized and it forms this really really slippery flavorful layer. I'm not sure if y'all can see on the screen, but I try to point it out for y'all. Give it a try. Before I get to what I think, I like to put out all the personal preference things up on the screen. So things like whether you like the rice, you know, softer or more textured, or the, the amount of ginger that is in the whole dish, or how spicy the chili is. All this does not show the quality of the dish. I'll be repeating this profile for the rest of the series so that it's easier for you guys to understand. And then now to what I think. Hits and misses. Why not? Why not? Hit number one is that I do not think that it's overrated. A lot of lo locals always say this place is very overrated because the truth is 
there are a billion good chicken rice all over the countries, popular or not popular. We are so blessed in that sense, you know. Any neighborhood chicken rice, right, will serve up a decent plate of chicken rice. Why I say I'm, it's not overrated? Because, right, the rating of this, right, a lot of people think that people rate this 5 out of 5. No, the rating of this is 4. 4 stars out of 5 stars out of a nut out of what Google tells me to be 2,459 reviews. So the rating of this is an 8 out of 10. And I don't think that's overrating it. Every aspect of this dish has been more than decently done. With the exception of the rice. The rice is exquisite. Normally in chicken rice, right, it's very delicious, right, because they squeeze a lot of chicken flavor, chicken stock, chicken fat into the rice. And it becomes this ultra savory, very umami packed rice. But this, while there is still that umami, right, they balance it off very well with what I think is lemongrass, ginger, and shallots. Uh, I, I, that's what I'm getting. There's a very strong scent to balance out that cloyness on your tongue. Like, I feel like I can eat this rice forever. The meat is tender, everything is tasty, but I'm not going to list that as a hit. Because I think in this series, right, when you are at this tier, right, all these are given. But the, the aroma of the rice, right, I think stands above and beyond what is already an excellent chicken rice. Another hit, the sauce is very good. Normally, this sauce, right, is mixed very, very simply with sesame oil, light soy sauce, and chicken stock, chicken fat. But this is a, it's a sauce that is specially made because it has some sort of viscosity to it. The downside is obviously that they don't give much of this sauce, but it's very tasty and it's very, um, it's almost has a bit of finesse and sort of restaurant finishing to it. Another hit, this time I mentioned it, the chicken breast is very chill. A common practice in Singapore is that they will use their cleaver right, for chicken breast right, and then they will smash it in order to make it look bigger and, and also to tenderize it. Because if you heat it hard, you break the fibers, it becomes more tender. The downside is that the juices gush out. Lah. But this one, they left the chicken breast quite intact, and as you can tell, it's juicy. I'm struggling to give it a miss. If I were to give it a miss, right, is that the chickens that they use right, are not that sweet. It does not have a very uh, strong chicken aroma to it. It's, it's down to the produce that they use. It seems kind of obvious, but not all chickens are created the same. Like a lot of the supermarket chickens that we are using, right, are much bland in terms of flavor than compared to if you use something from the market. That's my personal observation. On how to choose a better chicken or what are the be what's the better species, people normally say kampong chicken is uh, has a stronger flavor, and I don't believe this is kampong chicken. If I would really press myself to give a means right, it's down to the chicken that they use. Yeah. Okay, verdict. Verdict is interesting. Uh. Normally at this point, people will give a numerical value to their verdict, but I'm gonna refrain from doing that because it's so inaccurate when you give a numerical value when you have not tried the rest yet. So I'm gonna give an open-ended verdict and leave the numerical value comparison for later. And I believe Tian Tian Hainanese Chicken Rice is a suitable representative for Singapore in terms of chicken rice. I get it that a lot of foreigners come here and eat and then Singaporeans will be like, Huh, don't go Tian Tian eat, it's overrated, it's so touristy, da 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 But no, Tian Tian is actually a good example. But there are definitely other good chicken rice out there. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys this time. Thank you so much for watching the video up to this point. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.